<laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to our kitchen. Um, if you're new here, my name is Mallory. Um, our channel is West Texas Homesteading. And we love to just share everything that we are doing on our farm. We bought our farm December of 2020. Um, gutted the inside and moved in April of 2021. And since then, we've just been slowly trying to make it uh, a home. And so we started our channel so we could share our journey with our friends and family. Um, so yeah, today, what you're gonna see me do, um, I'm gonna share my pizza dough recipe. And what, I'll share the, the um, recipe for one Pretty much extra large crust. It's like a, a, I fit it into our 16 inch uh, round pizza pan. Um, I'll share that recipe in the description. But what you're going to see me do today, I'm going to probably quadruple it because we are actually two weeks away from school starting. And I like to try to help my future self as much as possible. I want to have a few. Uh, pizza doughs in the freezer so I can just grab one thaw it out and throw something together um, for a quick dinner one night a week and if it's you know there's nothing against calling it a pizza we just prefer homemade whole ingredients so I like to have those in the freezer so that's what we're gonna do so come along and I'll show you how I do it which means um, sprinkling yeast into warm water, about 110 degrees. So I have four cups of um, warm hot water, um, two teaspoons of active yeast, and then four teaspoons of sugar. So that's been sitting for a few minutes um, and blooming, which means you want it, uh, the yeast to be fluffy and um, cloudy and you know that if it doesn't do that it's it's you need to pitch it because it's not any good so I'm going to get 10 cups of flour four teaspoons of salt and eight tablespoons of olive oil If you're wondering what I'm looking at, I have my uh, notes here. I don't have that memorized as, uh, as often as I make it you think I would, but I don't. Okay, I had a two cup measuring cup, but I'm not a big fan of that because as you can see, it's not very easy to use. So this is one cup. I already have two in there.
our 10 cups of flour. Sugar is in there, warm water yeast, and we need salt in here. And that is four teaspoons. Hand, I'm just going to mix that up so we don't have like a huge chunk of salt in one little area of the dough. And yes, my hands are clean. Okay, right before I pour this in, I'm going to put the olive oil in here um, because I don't know if you've ever made like pasta or anything where you add olive oil to your dough. But if you add the olive oil to the dough, to the flour, it, it tends to clump up, and I don't like that. So I'm gonna put it right there in that yeast mixture. So, two, four, six, eight tablespoons. One, two. I did a little shy of eight, like to the top of the tablespoon because I was getting some in there as I was turning over my spoon. about y'all but it's not really cooking if I don't make a mess but you know what this is real life how I actually cook so I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to put a towel over it and cover it or to cover it, and then let it sit for a while so that the flour gets really hydrated by the liquid. And it'll start rising, so I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and then check it. playing with dough, making bread, pizza, pasta, biscuits, anything dealing with dough is my favorite in the kitchen. I love making sauces and all the other things too, but 
I'm with Joe, it's my favorite. I feel like I'm always looking for a reason to make a dough. Like, I think I need fresh bread today. Of course, who doesn't love fresh bread every day? Okay. I'm just going to work this until it starts feeling smooth. Clocks aren't falling apart, falling off. place it's pretty drafty right here so I'm not gonna leave it right here and I will check on it in 30 minutes okay after 30 about 35 minutes it's risen enough I'm gonna turn it out on the um, bar and cut it in four portions We are actually going to have pizza tonight. Um, I made some pesto earlier and I will link my pesto recipe um, or I'll put it in a card. Um, so I'm going to divide this into four, um, set one to the side and then put three in the freezer for later on. plastic bags and I don't love using plastic bags but I try to reuse them so as not to waste so much plastic so if you're making this just um, for, uh, for a meal you want to have that day not ahead of time you could start your um, Preheat your oven, and in the time it takes for your oven to preheat, you can put this dough together and set it to the side and let it rise. And it's ready within like 45 minutes. You do not have to let it rise multiple times or anything like that. So it's really, it can really be a quick dough. And on the days that I'm going to Pull these out of the freezer. I'll pull them out. Um, oh, I 
just a few hours before I need them because bread thaws pretty quick. We don't stick. Okay, and then I'm just gonna roll a little bit. My pan is 16 inches, so I'm just going to work it as big as I can with the rolling pin, and then I'll get it on the pan and push it out. inch thin crust pizza. You can leave it like this and be a thicker crust. That's probably 14 uh, inch pizza, 12 inch. But I like the thin crust with the pesto and the chicken. So I'm going to stretch it out. Once I get this stretch, I'm going to just put the towel over it just so it doesn't dry out while I get the chicken prepared and pull the pesto out of the fridge. And I'm sorry about that noise. Wyatt is playing in the other room with his dad. I'm going to clean up my mess and um, get the pesto and the chicken out of the fridge. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I want you to give this a shot because it is literally the easiest pizza dough. Um, and if you do, leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Okay, see you next time.